。此时，中国究竟对美国持怎样的态度，这一点尚不明确，所以美国认为要先派密使进行试探。He came to China、uh, at the order of his boss, President Richard Nixon,、uh, to explore、uh, China's mood、uh, toward America, how China feels about America, how China look at the present Zazen international situation, what China would, would consider in order to、uh, improve relation between China and the United States. That if we advertise the trip before I went, opponents of the relationship would start setting criteria of what had to be achieved and attach conditions and pay attention in a way that would have made it impossible to have those conversations in such an atmosphere. I worked on the preparation for the trip. Uh, at the State Department, but was never told what the trip was about,、uh, what the papers I was writing were for. Since I had read the record of the Warsaw talks,、uh, I knew because, in fact, we proposed such a、uh, presidential visit、uh, to China or a, a visit of an envoy、uh, at the last Warsaw talk.、Uh, so, it, having read that record, I knew what was about to happen. I only decided to form a band. 是由总理亲自挂帅，然后有叶帅、叶剑英元帅、黄华、张文静、熊向辉组成一个小组，在钓鱼台四号楼、五号楼，就五月份就开始准备了。准备工作就是要资料，各种准备的这个资料，对基辛格的了解，对尼克松的了解，对整个形势的研究。那么将来怎么对付？那么到七月份的时候，信息已经传过来，那是秘密的。我们的几个人到那个秘密的地方去接接那个电话、翻译、传、再再再传信，其他人都不知道。一九七一年，基辛格收到期盼已久的一封来自中国的密信，邀请他访问北京。为美国总统访华铺路。这封来自周恩来总理的手书，是通过当时巴基斯坦总统叶海亚汉辗转送到基辛格手中的。基辛格那个时候是尼克松派他到南越，啊，到泰国，到巴基斯坦来访问，根本没有说过到中国，不可能的，因为当时不可想象的，中美两个是敌对国家，怎么能够，呃，这么高级的特使来访问呢？七月六日晚，基辛格在巴基斯坦总统叶海亚汉的招待宴会上突然腹痛难忍。这个跟叶海亚汉总统是已经没磨好的，就是说，哟，你肚子疼，大概因为我们伊斯兰堡天气太热，你到我北边的总统官邸去休息去。那么对外就说去养病去了，休息去了。其实他没去，是秘密的做了他们的外事秘书的苏尔坦汉的这个驾驶的专用的军用汽车，戴着墨镜，戴着大檐帽，四个人就到机场。Just at the last moment, he did get、um, nervous, and he did say to the president, he was leaving from Pakistan to, to fly to Beijing. And he said to the president of Pakistan, "Will you come with me?" And the president of Pakistan said, "No, I can't. I can't leave. I can't leave what I'm doing here." And so Kissinger went off. But it was stepping into an unknown world for Kissinger. We decided to send a eight-passenger plane. Zhang Wenjin, at that time, was the Meida Officer, and Wang Hairong was the Li Bing Officer, and the translator. 唐文生，还有唐龙斌是李冰师的，专门到巴基斯坦去接，接呢，而且是非常保密的。We had to leave Pakistan very early in the morning to get here by noon because of time difference and、uh, 
to be left when it was dark and uh, and I there was a bed in the back of the plane where I stayed and Winston Lord went to the front of the plane where the pilots were and so he has always said and he's right that he got to China 10 seconds before I did. 1971年7月9日12点15分 朝钓鱼台国宾馆驶去，他有点紧张，开头很拘束。他第一次我们在五号楼会谈的时候，他们四个人嘛，还有一个保镖就不进来了，他就带了。一大家的文件，他们算了一下，有七公分，什么厚，所以他开始就是照本宣读。这个总理呢，什么文件没有，就一张纸，一几千笔，什么东西没有，他很紧张，照本宣读，一页一页的念，整整七公分的文件。那么
historic difference in conduct between the two societies. So I was used to the Cold War Russia, which was more confrontational and which made an issue of every little thing became a contest. And the Chinese leaders, when I met them, were concentrating on fundamentals. And smaller things could be settled very quickly. Hui Tan achieved a great success. That is, the two sides agreed on the Ji-Xing-Ge invitation and the Chinese government will invite Ni Ke-Song to the invitation. There can be no stable and enduring peace without the participation of the People's Republic of China. And it's 750 million people. This television speech was like a nuclear bomb that shocked the whole world. The announcement I shall now read is being issued simultaneously in Peking and in the United States. Knowing of President Nixon's expressed desire to visit the People's Republic of China. Premier Zhou Enlai, on behalf of the government of the People's Republic of China, has extended an invitation to President Nixon to visit China. President Nixon has accepted the invitation with pleasure. Virtually the next morning, Kissinger got a phone call from the Soviet ambassador in Washington saying, when would you like the summit? We can have it any time. And the Americans then played it very cool. And they said, no, we're already going to China. Thank you very much. We'll see you after we go to China. And so it was a way of putting pressure on, on, on the Soviets. The State Department, obviously, in, in, as a whole, if you can describe it, felt that it had been cut out. Nixon did not like the, the State Department in the United States. He didn't trust them. He felt they were liberals. They were people who wouldn't be in sympathy with his goals. I mean, Nixon was, was a Republican and, and had certain goals in the world. And so he had a great suspicion of the State Department. But uh, it was a great shock and surprise to most people on both sides when uh, the news was released. We hope that our relations with the People's Republic of China will be improved as a result of the trip. Uh, we're not sure what the outcome will be, and we certainly don't want any exaggerated hopes to develop. The first reason, of course, is that uh, we had a formal relationship with Taiwan at that time and recognized them as the government of China. And so therefore, negotiating how we would change our relationship so that we would recognize Beijing as the government of China was difficult. Three years later, in 1971, Ji Xinge was again visited. The purpose of this visit was to prepare for the president of the United States. One of the Mei方承认，这个承认是acknowledge。台湾还想两边所有中国人都认为只有一个中国，acknowledge就严格的范，就是认识的，他没有一个义务，我我认识到你的立场，并不等于我承认你这个立场，recognize recognize the People's Republic of China as the sole legal government. 这一条最重要，是唯一合法政府。Again, take the doctor for example. Uh, the Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. Uh, the Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the invitation of President Nixon to visit China. The Chinese government has accepted the you have to learn from this great diplomat from across that big lake, the Pacific Ocean, the U.S.